It's a humid 80 degrees here in Knoxville as the Vols take the field for this sixth day of training camp. Soreness has set in now, but our Vols continue to work hard to build up mentally and physically. Tonight's practice, I thought very productive. A lot of situational football, one minute offense, some goal line, third down in the, in the red zone, some third down and goal line situations as well. You know, really trying again to create some adverse situations. And that's our job as coaches to make sure we put our players in those type of situations and see how they handle it. Head coach Butch Jones says the team needs to start focusing on the fundamentals. I think the big thing still that's missing is details. You know, and uh, and just overall consistency. Tonight we had way too many drop passes. You know, we chart balls on the ground. We had way too many. And uh, so, again, we have to come back. We have to work to improve on that. Just a whole high level of consistency and performance. You know, and it's the intensity. It's the physicality uh, with everything that we do. Dealing with the grind of training camp is no trouble for sophomore offensive lineman Matt Crowder. I mean, you get a little nicked up, you know, everywhere, but uh, like, like uh, Coach Jones has been preaching, we're, you know, we're a tough football team mentally and physically, so um, I think, I think uh, our, our mental toughness is, is helping us get through the, the, the grind that we've been going through here. Sophomore safety Brian Randolph, along with the training staff, are making sure the defensive backs are staying strong during camp. Uh, I feel like we're good. Uh, we're not we're not too sore. We're all getting in the um, getting in the weight room and stretching after all the DBs. I'm making sure we do that. We all get in the cold tub. So I feel like our bodies are are um, getting accustomed to the the pounding. And I think we're going to be good. Motivation and encouragement are part of being a leader, according to senior defensive lineman Corey Miller. The thing I tell the guys is it's fall camp. If you don't love football, this, this ain't for you. Every day is going to be a grind. Every day is going to be 6 a.m. to 9 or 10 p.m. If you're not ready for it, you don't need to be here. And as a leader on the team, how much do you think of that as your responsibility to help the guys, you know, motivate them and keep that intensity up? I feel like it's a big part of my job as a leader to help these guys move along. I room with Jason Carr, and every day I wake up, I'm like, Jason, be positive. Jason, let's work. And just to start him off, you know, with something in his mind, you know, like tell him that, hey, I got, there. I got your back. We're ready. Yesterday, the coaching staff said they needed more focused intensity, and today for the second day in pads, that's exactly what happened. Don't forget to follow our Vols on Twitter at Vol underscore football and always at UTSports.com. For Vol Report, I'm your host, Sarah Mitchell.